Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm sharing the perfect summertime dessert. That's because you don't have to bake it because if you're like me, you don't want to turn on the oven in the middle of the day when it's hot outside. So today I'm making no bake raspberry cheesecake dessert. So this is such a fantastic recipe. We're making a crumb layer with pretzels and graham crackers. We're making a raspberry mousse and cheesecake layer. And then we're topping everything off with raspberry jello and more fresh fruit on the inside. So I hope you guys enjoy this video recipe. Let's get started with our recipe. Today I'm gonna to start by preparing my custard first, which is gonna be the base for our cheesecake dessert. So into a small bowl, I'm gonna to mix together half a cup of white granulated sugar. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're gonna add four large egg yolks. So I'm just gonna give this mixture a good mix. I'm gonna set it aside and we'll come back to this. Now for our next step into a small saucepan, I'm gonna add one cup of heavy cream along with one third cup of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna take my cream and flour mixture over to the stovetop. I'm gonna cook this over low heat for just a few minutes until that cream is simmering hot. Once your cream and flour is hot, you wanna just give it a good whisk to remove any clumps, and we're gonna slowly start adding it into our egg yolk and sugar mixture. So you wanna add a little bit at a time, and this process is called tempering. So we wanna cook the egg whites very slowly so that they don't separate. So give this mixture a good whisk after each addition. After you have the two mixtures well combined, you wanna take this back to the stove top and cook this for another seven to 10 minutes until the custard really thickens. And you wanna make sure that you're stirring constantly so you don't have any clumps. I just took my custard off the stove top and when you take it off the stove top, just give it a really good mix to get rid of any clumps. And next you wanna add one cup of white chocolate chips. So I'm just gonna sprinkle these right in and just stir these until the chocolate is completely melted. Once it's melted, go ahead and set the custard aside and it needs to cool to room temperature. While our custard is cooling, we can work on our crumbly crust. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different and make a sweet and savory crust. I have about 24 graham cracker cookie halves. So I'm gonna place these into my food processor. And then I have a handful of some salted pretzels. So we're gonna pulse this all together until we have a nice and fine crumb. I'm gonna transfer my crumbs into a small bowl. Next, I'm gonna add my butter. So I have one third cup of butter and I've melted. I'm gonna pour that right over the top. And then just use a spoon and toss that all together. So it should come together into a nice crumb. My custard has cooled, so now I'm ready for the next step. I'm gonna place two bricks of cream cheese. So these are eight ounces each. And I've softened these to room temperature. I'm gonna place them into my mixer and I'm gonna whisk them on high speed until the cream cheese is really light and fluffy. Next, I'm gonna pour in my cold custard. You wanna mix the custard and the cream cheese for a few minutes, and you wanna make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl pretty frequently so that you don't get clumps of cream cheese, and mix this until you have a smooth mixture. And now for our raspberries. So I have two cups of fresh raspberries. I'm gonna dump them right into my mixer bowl. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of raspberry extract. So you don't have to add this. I'm just gonna add a little bit extra raspberry flavor to this. I'm gonna turn my mixer back on and just mix this for a few minutes until the raspberries are completely crushed. Once you have your cream cheese and your raspberries and your custard mixed all together, I'm gonna to transfer it into a separate bowl. So I'm gonna set this aside. I've cleaned my mixer bowl. And to that, I'm gonna add two cups of cold heavy cream. To the whipping cream, I'm gonna add one fourth cup of sugar. I'm gonna whisk this on high speed until I have stiff peaks. And now for mixing these two together. So for the first step, I'm actually gonna take a bit of the whipped cream and I'm gonna place it into the cream cheese mixture here. I'm gonna fold this in very gently. So I'm gonna thin it out a little bit before I add it into my whipped cream. So now I'm gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna take my cream cheese mixture. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. Take my spatula and fold it into the whipped cream very gently. So you wanna do this very slowly so the whipped cream stays really light and airy. All right, so I'm almost done combining these two together. And this looks so light and airy. So this is what your uh, cheesecake mixture should look like. It should have lots of volume. 
and just stir it very gently so the whipped cream stays really light and fluffy. And now we're ready to fill our cups. So for this recipe, you'll need some sort of glass or plastic cup. So you can even make them in these small little plastic cups, which are perfect if you're gonna be taking them uh, for a picnic or a little get together, or you can use these glass ones. These are a little bit fancier if you're using them for, you know, like a party that you're throwing at home. So first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of that graham cracker crust that we made earlier. And now for filling their cups. So I like to use a pastry bag. It just makes things a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner. You can always spoon this in as well. So I'm just gonna squeeze this out. And you can fill these as much as you want. Just make sure to leave a little bit of room at the top for that jello and uh, raspberry layer. I'm gonna place my mousse cups into the refrigerator for about an hour until the mousse is set. And now for our jello layer. So today I'm using a six ounce package of raspberry jello. So I'm gonna pour that mixture right into a bowl. I'm gonna add my two cups of boiling water. And whisk this until it's completely dissolved. And then to that, I'm gonna add two cups of ice water. So I add the ice just to speed up the process and just stir until everything is completely dissolved. I just took my mousse cups out of the refrigerator, so now I'm just gonna add a few berries to the top, just like so, and kind of press them into the mousse so that way they'll stick once we pour the jello in. And now for our jello, so I'm gonna use a small ladle and I'm gonna pour the jello carefully using a spoon, just over the back of a spoon. Perfect. So you want to pour this in slowly. I'm just going around and topping off the cups with a little bit more jello. And now these are ready to go into the refrigerator. So I'm going to place them back in the fridge and just let this set up completely. So you can have this in the fridge overnight or about four to six hours. And that's it for our no-bake dessert. It's super simple to make and it's such a fantastic recipe. So now it's time to give it a try. Now ideally, you want them to set for about 46 hours. I took these out of the fridge a little bit early so I can try them on camera for you guys. So my jello is still a little bit jiggly. I'm gonna try to scoop down to the bottom and get some of that salted pretzel crumb. Oh, this looks so pretty. Mmm. This is so, so good. It's so fantastic. I love all the flavors in here. The salty pretzels at the bottom give it such a fantastic flavor component. And that mousse in the middle with the cheesecake is just so, so good. It's so creamy. And I love how fruity this is. You get so much of that fresh raspberry. And I love that raspberry jello too. Mmm. This is so great. You make like 20 of these for a party and everybody will love you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Give it a try over the summertime. And if you do, please share your photos with me on Instagram. I love to see your creations and I'll see you next time.